is constant. Maybe now, yes, now we will go quickly. Look, first parameter 0 0.9, it means 10%. We, we go, go, go down now with 10%. As everything is less than one, it's good. It means we go down. So now we have maybe result. So, simulation, simulation. <laughs> okay, program is finished. Look. Oh, very good. Very good. Look. After 270 iteration. Uh, super, yes. But I told you, I told you you have three three points, yes? First, first, what we have to see is this mistake, error. But it's also possible that this error is not enough for this task. So, for example, this task is so much turbulent that we need more exact solution. So, second important thing, my force has to be constant. It's not constant. Do you see it? So, my force is not constant. So, it means it's not enough, this error. So, my flow... It is like constant, but also not sure. I'm not sure. So, what it means? It means that normally for mostly tasks, and for your task maybe also, uh, 10 in the power of minus 4 is enough, but this task I did so that it's not enough. So, like in lectures, yes? This is what we defined, 10 in the power of minus 4, yes? And sometimes people say, oh, I finished. But if we show control parameter, we will see it's not constant. It means it's not finished. So it means I need more exactly solution. So 10 to the power of minus 4, not enough. I can change it, it to 5, yes, 5, 10, minus 5, for example. So first. Okay, this is not solution. I can close it. <laughs> I can go back to the setup. And I say, no, I want to calculate next steps until 5, my 10 in the power of minus 5. So my, my accuracy is not enough. I say 0 0.5. So, and maximum iteration, we say 1,000. We want to see correct design. So apply. Yes, I change my... Mistake, error, 10 in the power of minus 4, not enough. I say uh, half less. So should we give 5 e raised to 5? 5 e minus 5, yeah. yes. And then I say I don't need to start again. I'm going to solution, edit, and I say calculate next steps. Yes. So, and the program uses last step as an initialization. Oh. We see. So now we have here initial values. And here, current solution if possible. It means we calculate it next day. So if possible, if we have solution. And then, yes, we have to wait. What is the reason we will see now? Why it's so difficult? And uh, in your practice work, maybe it's not, it's OK. Yes, in your practice work, for example, you finish after Should nine iterations. Should we give the initial yes, value here? I am. Should we give the uh, And you really see your all <laughs> parameters are constant. Force constant, everything constant. Okay, for your pressure drop, you finish with 0 0.3 or 5. Yes, it's okay, it's good, it's correct result. But for 2 megapascal, it's not enough. Why? We receive why it's not enough. So I calculate it next. So you need to control force. You see forces are not constant. You have to be really constant line. Then you say it's correct. So now I calculate next steps. Yes? And my target is force has to be constant. All have to be constant. So really constant. So really line. And then I say I found exact solution. And this is last point for today. So for your practice work, it's enough. I'm sure it's maybe this is 0 0.5 of minus. Yes, 90 iterations look and
you see control parameters for, for example, ah, uh, it's not compatible. Uh, yes. Yeah, but it's not so really a big difference. Yet. Maybe we can say it's okay, or you can calculate like I am. How do I change? Yes, I change the mistake. I say okay, ten minus four was not enough. I change to five minus five. Then calculate more exact. Yes, like in lecture. In lectures, I change this. I go back to setup and change to five minus Okay, and now we see the <coughs> <this> solution. <coughs> Mm -hmm. I have the business solution or setup? Yeah, setup. Yeah. setup solution. Mm -hmm. I have the same. So, okay, I'm waiting and then we will see the, after many, many iterations, we will see constant contraformance and we can say, and as is also possible that imbalance will be 100 percent it means 10 liters go inside well and 20 liters go out yeah it's also possible but not not in this task we can also check it but it's, it's, it's zero zero okay so now i'm waiting and uh, uh Okay, only if these three points we see 10 minus 4, uh, all parameters constant, imbalance 0, we say simulation is correct. But the main problem I wanted to do with this example is that this simulation is also wrong. So, and we will see why. Everything is good, but simulation is wrong. Yes. The turbulence must also be constant, Constant? No, this is the out turbulence uh, error. It's okay, yeah, it's not the... Yeah, yeah. So they have to no, only, only parameters. Yeah. Only parameters have to be constant. Okay. Flow, force, everything. Okay. So an error, you see it's difficult for program to calculate, yes? It's so, so changed, this flow, that program cannot calculate it. It has big problems and other big problems program can. So sometimes we see also that somebody makes simulation and give us oh four liter per minute, and we make measurement at eight liter per minute. And if you see now simulation, you will see that this simulation is complete wrong. So why? Yes, and then uh, people say, oh, it's not wrong. I have zero point minus five, for example. Everything constant. Uh, I don't know imbalance zero, but simulation is wrong, and we will see now. It's a big problem by flow simulation in every software, and uh, this needs also more time to 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 to, to do. What we do it in the next next time? Uh, how we can do the simulation correctly? We will see results are catastrophe catastrophe uh, different. So, for example, if I have now I don't know 0 0.5 force, then in real I have maybe plus three newton force. It's a really big difference, and we will see now what is the problem, and then, and then we will finish. Okay, now it looks better. Look, everything will go down. Maybe I think, I think now program found solution, and now it goes quickly down. <coughs> so I think now program found solution. Now program goes quickly down. And everything will be constant, I hope. Okay, two megapascal is too much. I did this example with one megapascal, and I forgot to change it. But in your practical work, it's always one. <laughs> oh, you found the solution. Really good. Uh, but, but it's not the same value like me. I use the, 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 the values in the. Yes, but the question is, yes, it's okay, but the question is, is this simulation correct? It's really simple to check every flow simulation. You see this result, the open result, we will open together our result. If the program 
Okay, it's difficult, yes? It's difficult to calculate. Okay, we can see lectures, maybe. Uh, okay, in the lectures, I think it was one, one, four. You can see it here. It was, I uh, know, it was two bar. Yes, yes, two. It's okay. But in other version, maybe new version was better. Look, a new version I found after about 300 iteration. Ah, no, more, more, more. No, 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 it's okay, it's same. Ah, no, no, about 300 iteration, yes, for five years, minus five. Uh, so, and then simulation is completely, yes, like, Every parameter looks like constant, yet means 20, 30 iterations have to be really constant. Well, yes, we see. And then all parameters are constant. You see, no problem. Volume also constant. So here is what we inlet define is to bias, always constant. So force was much more difficult to find. And we see it's also constant. Everything's okay. But simulation. Is wrong. Oh, I don't know what's happened now. Now this problem has really big problems to find solution. Do you see? Okay, we are waiting maybe a minute, and then we see the big problem. <coughs> yeah, you need to wait. wait. It's okay. It's not good. If it lines go down, then it's everything very good. Very good. Oh, I don't know. Did you check? It will be questions by a minute. Is it okay? You have to answer. Is it okay? Is it okay? Three points. Error. You see it's okay. All parameters have to be constant. Yes? Oh, you need to write it. It's a, it's a in the syntax from program, like program, why they write it? It's like no answer. The people decided. Why yes. it's today? today it's, uh, yeah, general. Yes, general. We can say today is general of 25. Uh, it's like program told us. Wiki voice has no idea why. Right? Oh, it's good. Why don't you? Very good. Down no, only target. All lines have to be less than this. So our target, we call it all lines go up. This is a mistake. Error. So we have system of linear equations. This is error. Yes, all lines. Yes, this is iteration. So like uh, system of linear equations. Every time we calculate it, this is error. Error goes down. Good. With every iteration, we have more exact solution. Yes, means we are so small error here that we don't see change in solution. It's constant. It means like system of See this point exactly, exactly this solution. You see exactly this one. So this all error, all you we have big reasons why it's so difficult. Yet it means program. Look, this tell me that force is not stable. It means my flow is not stable. I don't have constant. Or maybe I have to calculate it with transient. Yes, my flow always change. Yes, I cannot calculate this with tech. Uh, why? We have big problem. Okay, I make stop. I think two megapascal was. Uh, or my machine maybe now is uh, not so good. Like like yes, of course, machine is not so good. Yes, we did three point this a good cross gap, and then this example I did four points. Every iteration costs more time, but it's more better. Yes, better mesh, better convergence. But okay, it's not important. In your practical work, you will get results with one megapascal. The problem is my <coughs> pressure is too much. So, <coughs> make stop. It will interrupt. We are we are going to results. So this simulation is 
is bad, yes, it's not correct, not enough correct, why we will see now, maybe, maybe, uh, so, like in lectures, if I have more bad emission, then I will find, I will find this, uh, with more bad emission, I will find solution maybe, yes, so, it will be everything constant, and I will get results, but the results is also wrong. The results are wrong. Why? We will see now why. Please make interrupt or stop and go to the results. So, we will see the last point for today, results. How we can check results. Results is, uh, result is uh, pressure and, and velocity, yes? More, we don't need any more. So, how we can show results, see results? We can show results, for example, at symmetry. If I push symmetry twice, then I can say symmetry is not constant color, but variable pressure. And not, yeah, global or local, no, no change, what? Or not. or not global, yes, local. So I say pressure, uh, global means, uh, Always, all iteration min max. Local means in this, this state, this iteration. So, then I make apply and I see my pressure. <coughs> I see my pressure. Okay. Why do you have pressure on the bottom part, the blue one? Where? Why do you have pressure there on the bottom part? I mean, bottom part? Here, um, you don't, I don't have pressure. You don't have this part. Maybe that's right. Ah, maybe you deleted. Ah, maybe this is what I read. Okay, you deleted this part, maybe. Yes? We have outlet one, but here we have also volume. Or you don't, you didn't use it in symmetry, maybe, maybe this part. Okay, so we can, we can watch pressure. So, we see our pressure. And the second part, is to show streamline is slow. So how we can show slow? We can switch off symmetry, and we can add, <laughs> like in lectures, insert streamline, and then we will see our our velocity. Streamline start from inlet, 250 lines, for example, apply. Ah, forwards and backwards. We need to say. So forwards and backwards, apply, and then we see our flow. It's optical, we see that it's difficult to calculate, yes? It looks like too high flow. Yes, it looks like really this task is not for static, but for... Oh. So, we see this is really difficult to calculate, to find st a stable state, yes? Maybe this task is not possible for static simulation, yes? Our force changed maybe always, yes? And we need to calculate the transient, but this simulation is wrong, why? Very easy. If we see pressure, then we see, no, we see nothing now. <coughs> we see that everything good. Do you see? Okay. So, the problem is, uh, if I calculate it correct... Okay. <coughs> if I do it correct, with good mistake, yes, now is my simulation not correct, I have to calculate it more. Okay, maybe I start it, maybe we'll find solution. Okay, I start before I just... So, okay, if I calculate the simulation with two bar, yes, with two bar, then this simulation is wrong. Why? Why my result? Look what what I what I have. My minimum pressure is minus one point two. What is it? It means uh, I told you vacuum is zero. It means vacuum is minus one. Everything that more than minus one is wrong. Yes, 
what it means is normally is here in this small gap we have minus 1.2 bar okay minus 1 2 is not so big problem yes my force is pressure multiplicate with phase if I have uh, 0.2 bar more than minimum possible then okay I have some mistake but if I have now calculation with 100 megapascal I see here minus 1000 bar and minus 1000 bar is of course complete wrong so what is the problem uh, it's easy this uh, result tell me that uh, that I have this uh, cavitation so what is it cavitation cavitation means every flow uh, not important diesel benzene water so every flow with small gap I have the big velocity yes the bigger velocity the less pressure so and every flow has the limit for example diesel has limit 0.2 bar for example if my pressure less than 0.2 bar then I have not flow but vapor yes it means that in this place I have a real vapor so it means I have to calculate it like with cavitation uh, it's a much more difficult calculation I cannot do static I have to do it transient I have to calculate now with two two uh, two uh, flows yes I have to say I have diesel and I have diesel vapor yes so and it's much more it's a difficult simulation but at the end I never see here uh, less than minus one yes so it means only that my pressure is so high my velocity is so high that I cannot calculate it so so easy so I have to do this uh, special simulation so in your practical work you have small small pressure it means it's everything good yes so it means everything is good if my mistake less than minus 4 10 minus 4 my control term is constant my imbalance 0 and my result not less than minus 1 minimum. and then is everything complete correct so if I see that here minus 10 then it means I have to calculate multi phase flow with two phases with vapor and with flow so and uh, okay maybe we see now also my simulation will be correct that's no, okay it's not Im important and uh, we don't have a lot of time <coughs> I show you some beautiful video I think never use it in real but I show it always look we can see how fish uh, moves in our well so we can go to the, the streamline So, symmetry house and streamline in, and here in streamline we can go to the here. Look, uh, here we can say animation. Animation. Did you find here animation near the clock? Then we say streamline, and then we say here options and symbol is. Fish 3D. Fish 3D. <laughs> then OK. And then start in light animation. OK, we can do it slowly to see more back on the end. Slowly. Look, then we see fish 3D. How fish moves in our bed. No, man, no, slowly, more slowly. So, look. Ah, do you see fish? I don't know why they did it with so expensive software. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see, yes, that many fish is out, but this one fish is inside the well. Yes. Oh no, one fish can't go. Don't look, look, look. It's a lot of time. Can, cannot find the way outside. Do you see? Do you, do you see this small fish? It's here, here, here. Oh no. Ah, these are also here. Okay. Okay. Very interesting thing. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, <coughs> it was all about simulation. No simulation. I repeat it again, but I want to say about practical work. Uh, what we didn't do, uh, we didn't do this uh, number two. I want to show only. It's this one, the number three. I wanted to show uh, 
I, it's like again how we can use theoretic knowledge. Theoretic knowledge tells us that uh, that uh, yes that if we use this boundary condition, flow, we use now total pressure as inlet. Yes, but if we make other task, we say inlet is flow and pressure is result. Then it will be much more quick. So I want to show you this example. It will be twice quicker. So, uh, but uh, it's okay. It's not not so really important now. If you do it later, you will see this uh, example. And uh, last point: How we can do parameterization? Yes. For example, our task is flow force depends on stroke. Yes. One, two, three millimeter or more. How we can do it quickly? I want to show you only this, this last point. It works really easy. Parametrization. Uh, but it do, it's never works with student version. I don't know why. It's always mistake, or error. But I show you how it works. It works really easy. How we can automatically, the program automatically create many strokes. It's easy. We are going inside geometry again. No, no, no. Not, not geometry. Better other way. So, but, uh, okay, now, okay, geometry we are going, we are going inside geometry, and then we need to, param to make parameterization. So, the last point, and then we can repeat again everything, and we go home. <clears throat> okay, how I can do parameterization? Uh, it's very easy. Uh, okay. So <clears throat> we have to open geometry. Come on. Oh, so slowly. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we can do parameterization. How we can do it? Very easy. Uh, we can move again our body. Yes, we have, can choose our body. Now we have one millimeter stroke. Then we can choose our body. We can use mouth function. We can move again left. Left one millimeter. Ah, one is too much. Do you see? Then I have. Uh, okay, I can move, for example, left. Oh no, not one millimeter, but maybe uh, zero point nine nine. Oh. It's, it's not Im important. So now we have one millimeter stroke. Yes, for example, I can move. I can move right. This is the best way. I can move my body right in the right direction. Move in the right direction. For example, zero point five, and then I can push this pair. If I push this pair, then we have this zero point five experiment. So, if you push this point pair, then you have this 0 0.5 as parameter in hands. And if you go to the workbench, you see here new field, parameter. Yes? And you can define the, this 0 0.5. It means, for example, 0, it means for me 1 millimeter. 0 0.5 means 1.5. It's better to do from the beginning. Yes? If I have 0, then I can define metal 0. That's good. Yes, we finish. You can show it. Where is this? Where is the... You have to close this one. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, here. And then you can open the cell. And then you can go this way. Oh, what's happening? Wow, where is the seat? Hello. Okay. No? So, it means we define now parameter, yes? I have to know code zero is for me one millimeter stroke. And then I can go to the results. If I open the results, then I can define output parameter, yes? For example, force. 
If I go to the results, I can define output force body, like in lectures. If you push right mouse button, you can say set this output parameter. Yes, yes, now we can go here. And it's not so much to show, it's only a Nothing more. Okay. <coughs> okay. Okay. If I go to the fourth body, I can say right mouse button and say use as output parameter, and then program works automatically. Look, it's closed. Parameter set, and here I can say. Okay, please calculate me 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, yes? Please save me all files, then I can change between these all files and result is forced. And then I say update all design points, and then program calculated all parameters, yes? So easy. But you don't need to do it for your practice course, yes? Only one millimeter. <laughs> but it never works, this parameter, I don't know. It's in student version, it never works. It's comes mistake, maybe now. And you see program makes step by step. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. And then you can start, 10 parameters can go home. And then you will see program calculated to the denied all points. Okay, small repeat maybe. Um, yes, three points is important. Mistake, 10 minus 4. All parameters have to be constant. Imbalance 0. And your pressure has to be minimum more than... Minimum pressure has to be more than minus 1. If you have minus 2, it means you have vapor. Well, and you have to calculate it with cavitation. You don't have possibility, it's wrong. You have to calculate this cavitation. You have minus 100, you can understand what's happened. You have minus 100 bar here, minus 100 bar ma multiplicate with phase, so much force you have, I don't know, 10 Newton. But in real, you have here zero, yes? Zero, zero is zero. And minus 100 is 10 Newton. You can understand how, how big the problem is. So. Okay, it was everything, and flow simulation, same like mechanical, you need, uh, you need negative volume of flow, and you need the special mesh of inflation. So, of course, hexa mesh is better, and tetra is absolute same story, maybe more, more important, now we have so many elements, yes? With hexa mesh, we will get 10 times less elements, with more exact solution in the, in the gap. If you make now gap with, uh, with sweep method, we have now 200,000, we have maybe 20,000 elements on this sweep method. Bitter negative. Oh, it's bad. Ah, but it's... it's, uh, it's uh, no, negative is okay. No, no, stop, stop. It's 1.4, it means minus 0 0.1 bar. It's okay. You are, nu, nu is an atmosphere. And we, until minus one bar, you can go. It's not a, it's a correct. So, minus, minus one bar is minus. Oh, it's, it's wrong, yes. Yeah, okay. And then it's something is uh, Do you need a shark? How much? Maybe if you wait, maybe you will find solution. If you wait, more iteration. But zero point four. Okay, uh, uh, it's maybe not so wrong, but it's not stable. Yeah, maybe. 
Maybe a real you know, process in the mirror, but, but you, you can, can describe it like you have in your process. You calculate it, but it happens there. But maybe it's, uh, we need to calculate fantasy. It's also always possible. It's so, so, so trivial. Your flow is constant always. It's changes. Maybe you need to calculate fantasy. Yeah. Maybe if you wait more iterations. But you can make so much like so like the problem. So, do you want to go? Yes, okay. Bye bye. It's okay. We need for statistics. Statistics, we need. Ja, <lacht> 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 Do you see it's also of course possible that it's not a drop? You need you need no start you need some in the start is in the so you see how how dynamical it is how it's not stable, so many verbal. Yes, of course maybe it's not possible constant constant means Feel it out of every state, then it's easy, then you have convergence, no problem. But so if you have like this one loop, then maybe it's not possible to calculate. It means transient means it's always change. Mean max, mean max, or maybe yes, it's only one decision. Miss the error of 10 minus 4, everything constant, imbalance 0, here we don't see minus 1, then it's correct. It's finished, okay? Okay, results. And I have a question. Ah, you can check. Uh, what we do need for nonlinear simulation, it's like, it will be question like you have to, to show, uh, for example, you need this material properties be linear, light deflection on, and it's, it's no. And then you will get simulation and results, correct? What is a good mesh? We know good mesh is hexa mesh, yes, with sweep method. This is a super solution, but we need manual solution, yeah? You will see also by examination questions like it will be a small easy geometry. The question is what you have to do to, to, to get hexa mesh, yes? What you have to do, you have to slice something, yes? And then uh, you will get hexa mesh. So, uh, then you know structural simulation, you know that program control is not the best solution, yeah, very often we can decide, you decide for example, we can say uh, places where we need solution will be with quadratic balance function, for example, other places with linear, often uh, direct method can, be, can uh, be quickly, yes, so, but it's, for example, direct method, if you open every book, numerical mathematics, you will read, for example, every, uh, if system less than one, 100,000, 300,000 elements, system of linear equation. Then it's quickly with direct method, maybe. Yes, if you have more than 300,000, then it's quickly with iterative, yes? If you have exactly this point, like we, we have 50,000 nodes, it means 50,000 multiplied with three, x, y, z direction, 150,000 uh, system of linear equation, so big, it means 
Maybe the same velocity, yes? Maybe direct is quickly, it's not exactly, yes? Direct, we know direct need n in the power of three multiplication. Iterative may need iterative 